Last and certainly least, we have matchup number five. It's the German. Concentorians against the lovely lady in Paula. Paula. Hi, Paula. Yes, she's ruining my mojo. Tell Megan I said hi. Hi, Megan. <laughs> I love you, Megan. I hope she's enjoying school, and I hope you enjoy doing her homework for her. <laughs> Anyhow, Paula, you're feeling bad right now. Do you know why? Because you didn't listen to me last week. It's the first time this year that you haven't listened to me, and guess what happened? The guy I told you to put in, what did he get, 22 points? Some shit like that? I told you I'm a fucking guru, baby. A guru. Okay. Anyhow, ESPN has you underdog. I guess they're taking what you did last week personal. Um, they have Centurions getting 97 points, you getting 83 points. In other words, they're saying this matchup is really going to fucking blow. I actually don't think that, though. And I'm going to tell you why. You know what? When you have a German who lives out of this country and a girl... Going against each other in fantasy? Something good has got to come out of it. Uh, you're not Jewish, are you, Paula? I hope not, because that motherfucker won Nazi son of a bitch, I tell you. Anyhow. Sorry. Oh, did you... You heard my translation, German. I, if you haven't heard my translation, German, you better the fuck go up to Match of the Week, listen to it, because I did Match of the Week in German off of Google Translate. How fucking awesome! I'm going to be using that shit all the fucking time. Unfortunately, I can't use any other language because no one will understand. I think I might do Zwahili next. Zwahili. Yes. Um, bye weeks. Fortunately for the German, hence why he's probably uh, favored here, um, Keelan Winslow is the only guy he's got on a bye. And he's got Owen Daniels, but he's questionable, but I think he's going to start against Oakland. And with Andre Johnson... Very questionable. Um, if Andre doesn't start, Owen Daniels, his fantasy stock goes up. Um, Paula, a little bit more affected by um, the buy. Not that she's really killed by it, but she has less choices on what to do. And I guess but with a woman, it might be good to give her less choices. Uh, Miles Austin buy, Percy Harvin buy. And then now maybe you can stop sending Percy Harvin into the game every single week. Um, you definitely need some more depth on your team. You might want to look for something. Um, and the trade that you made with Ted, I know that's what you tried to do. But Santana Moss, not quite Brady stature. All right. But anyhow, last time I'm going to say about that, baby. Um, quarterbacks. You got number one against number two quarterbacks. You got Michael Vick. Surprise number two. And Peyton Manning, not surprise number one. Vic has been putting up 25 points a game. Uh, Peyton Manning putting up 26 a game. They're both going to do the same kind of shit this week. Unfortunately, Paula, after this week, defenses all get harder against Vic. Don't look for this from now on, but this week, look for about 20, 24, 25 points from Michael. Um, Peyton, Jacksonville. Mm, finger licking. He's, he's going to do good this week. Mm, yeah. Scary. Yeah, he's going to do good. Yeah. Yeah. 27 points for Payton. It's going to be really close. It's not going to do a, uh, I think they're both going to have a good game. Um, if, if the one who, if, if one of the quarterbacks actually don't, I think that's a team that's going to lose. Um, but like I said, I think they're both going to score high into the 20s. Um, running backs for Paula. For UM Sucks, you got uh, Ray Rice. Tim Hightower, Lewis Murphy. Lewis Murphy again? Damn, girl, I told you not to do that. I told you. I told you to start Brandon Lloyd. Brandon Lloyd, two tutties last week. Two tutties. Oh, I'm going to keep saying it. Oh, but, Brad, I always listen to you. Remember that one time that you were wrong? What about the 20 times I was right? Play the odds, woman. Play the odds. Megan, give her a little slap. What's going on? Let's call her. Ugh. Don't listen to her. She loves you, but she knows shit about it. This is what she's reading, for God's sake. How horrible is that? Football for dummies. Jesus you Christ. You it for me. I'm like I would buy that shit for her. Anyhow, let's go through it. Um, Ray Rice, questionable. I honestly, this is a hard thing. I might not start Ray Rice this week. Um, they're saying that he might not play, and he's going against a Pittsburgh defense. I would... 
I, I know this is hard. I would never want you to take out Ray Rice, and I don't want to be wrong on this, but you have to replace him with a running back. And you can't play Spiller against the Jets. I would keep checking the status of Ryan Matthews because I heard that he might play this week, and if he does, I might want to switch it. Um, or you could take out Lewis Murphy, who's questionable and he sucks, um, and, and put in Ryan Matthews. Keep checking on that, Paul. You've got to really check on game time for that one. Um, Hightower against, uh, against the Chargers, good play. Gets you about 15 points. That's going to be solid. Um, running back for the German. Um, you're not going to say hi to the fucking German? He's going to watch this and keep hearing you say hi to Paula, and he's going to be pissed off that you didn't say hi to him. Well, now he thinks I'm doing that because he told me to. So you're not going to? Hi, German. Yeah. Sorry, German. I'll have her shake her boobs for you later. Um, if you're lucky. Yeah. No. Um, Pierre Thomas. No, I got glass around here. Pierre Thomas, uh... Am I Bradshaw, Austin Collie? You picked up Collie, and I tell you what, it's a great pickup. You can't expect the numbers that he's been putting up. He's not going to be the number one fantasy receiver by the end of the league uh, or the end of the season. Um, but against Jacksonville, he's still going to get his points. Um, I, I still say 10 to 12 points for 10 to 12 points for Collie. Um, Pierre Thomas against Carolina. He's gonna. He's he's questionable. That's that's the problem. Um, I heard he's having a little trouble, but I still think he's gonna play. But I'm saying actually only about six seven points for Pierre this week. Um, Ahmad Bradshaw, I love him. He's a stud. But the Bears just do not like to give up points against the running back this year, um, except for Javon Bass. Um, I'm saying only about 10 points for uh, Bradshaw. I know you have to, have to be happy with 10 points, but I don't think you're going to get anything more out of them. Receivers, Mr. Mister Disappointing, Larry Fitzgerald. I told you Larry Fitzgerald was going to be a disappointment this year. You don't fucking listen to me. And guess what the fuck happens? You kept him, and he sucks, and you got to stick him in that lineup. Now you can't even trade the son of a bitch because no one fucking wants him. Good job, buddy. Uh, Megatron against Green Bay. I love Megatron. I'm going to say 15 points for Megatron. Do you know why? Because he's my favorite nickname in all of football right now. Megatron, that's fucking amazing. Uh, receivers for Paula. Brandon Lloyd, Santana Moss. Unfortunately, Paula, you're starting Brandon Lloyd a week too late. Tennessee's got a good uh, pass defense. Brandon Lloyd's not going to be much of a factor this week. Only six points for Brandon Lloyd. Santana Moss against a Philly defense. You got him. I'm glad you got him. The one plus side about it, Washington is going to be getting their fucking ass kicked, so they're going to be throwing a lot. That's why you're going to get 11 points out of them, not much more. She's actually showing me her tits right now, guys, so I apologize for this. I've seen them before. They're not actually – no, there's her butt. Oh, oh my God, that thing's huge. Um, do not throw that. There's honestly glass around here. Um, tight end, Owen Daniels, Dallas Clark. Paula, you got Dallas Clark. Not a giant upgrade, but still an upgrade against uh, Jacksonville. He scores twice this week. Give me 20 for Dallas Clark. Uh, Owen Dale is on the other side. All depends on uh, um, Andre Johnson if he plays or not. I say six, between six and 15 points. I know it's a big spread, but like I said, I don't know what's going on with Johnson. Um, other than that, I gave you my news and notes on who you should start, who you should uh, not. Um, German, you might want to, I know this is hard to say, I know it's really hard to say, you might want to be putting Jonathan Stewart in there and taking out uh, Pierre Thomas, or even, if you're that ballsy, I would take out Larry Fitzgerald. I know, it's ballsy. Uh, fantasy dud this week, Brandon Lloyd. Great week last week. I don't think he's going to do it again this week, Paul. I'm sorry. I wish I could tell you something different. Fantasy stud, though. I'm not going to go with the quarterbacks like you all think I am. Oh, go with the quarterbacks, Brett. Go with the quarterbacks. Oh, my God. No, give me Dallas Clark. Like I said, two toddies, give it to me. Do it. Do it. Do it. Give me a kiss right here. Do it. Right here. Do it. Prediction. Sorry, Paula. You dropped two straight. You go to two and two. Listen to me next time. I won't be so scornful. Uh, Centurions. Oh, you win, buddy. Uh, Centurions. Give me 23. Centurions. Boom. Done. Done. 